Hi guys, welcome back to Saturday Morning Cartooning, the show where we learn about cartoon characters from the past, the people that created them, and then we learn to draw them together. Before we get started, let's take a look at some viewer art. Get ready for a blast from the past. Today we're learning about the 1970s classic Jabberjaw. Jabberjaw was an animated TV series that ran from 1976 to 1978 on the ABC network. It tells the story of Jabberjaw, a 15-foot great white shark, who, along with his friends Biff, Shelly, Bubbles, and Clamhead, are in a band called the Neptunes. Believe it or not, Jabberjaw is the band's drummer. They all live in a futuristic underwater society in the year 2076. In between gigs, the Neptunes fight an assortment of supervillains who want to take over the undersea world. The show was created by the animation team of Joe Ruby and Ken Spears, who gained fame working for Hanna-Barbera Productions and being the creative forces behind cultural icon Scooby-Doo. Much of the Ruby Spears produced shows followed the Scooby-Doo formula of a title mascot character and a group of teenagers. This is seen in Scooby-Doo and Jabberjaw, but also other shows like Captain Caveman and Speed Buggy. The idea of the teen group being musicians can also be seen in another popular Ruby Spears production, Josie and the Pussycats. In fact, cartoon shows like these were created in part to promote new music. The main character being a great white shark was no coincidence. The popular blockbuster horror movie Jaws was released in 1975 and caused shark mania. Ruby and Spears utilized the American fascination of sharks to their advantage. Unlike Jaws, Jabberjaw was very friendly and spoke English. Played by veteran voice actor Frank Welker, Jabberjaw was essentially an imitation of Curly from the Three Stooges, making him an even more lovable and non-threatening version of a great white shark. Jabberjaw consisted of only 16 episodes, making it a relatively obscure offering from Hanna-Barbera. But through syndication, Jabberjaw was broadcast throughout the early 2000s and has made a significant pop culture impact. He even appeared in a recent issue of DC Comics, co-starring with Aquaman. All right, one of my favorites, Jabberjaw. Not too many people know about Jabberjaw. He was pretty obscure uh, Hanna-Barbera character. I'm actually starting with a circle at the bottom. This is going to be his drum set. So we're going to start with just his drum set there. And then we're going to have a snare drum here. And a snare drum here. So this drum is going to be in front of the big circle. This drum is going to be behind the big circle. And then here's going to be the little cymbal. Just going to put the letters in for the Neptunes. And that goes along. If we look at the reference photo, his drums say the Neptunes, and it's in an arc this way. So I'm just going to draw the arc first and then write the letters on the arc. We can erase that arc later on. And there's a little trident right here. A trident is a little uh, three-pronged, uh, I guess, weapon that King Neptune had, the mythological ruler of the sea. Let's also put a double line around the circle here. Erase the one inside there. All right, so there's his drum set. Now we can draw Jabberjaw in front of it. And Jabberjaw is basically just this big teardrop shape. Kind of makes them easy to draw. Let's put his 
detail on here. Mine's going off the edge of the paper a little bit. I drew him a little too big, but that's fine. It's only the tip of his tail. All right, let's give him, he has, if I show you the reference photo, this is sort of like the point, his nose. Uh, so we're gonna draw in that section as if it was separate. So there's a separate shape here that's going to be his snoot. And there's a little suggestion of two eyebrows. So there's gonna be one here and then the other one there. All right, from the eyebrows, we can draw a line going down. We'll maybe have it a little bit smiley. Have it go up and then down. And this line is going to differentiate between the white portion of him and the blue portion of him. He's going to have one fin that's coming out this way, and it's going to have a little nub at the end. It sort of gives us... Because inexplicably, of course, when one thinks of a drummer in a band, you think of a shark. Uh, he's going to have sh uh, fins that can actually hold instruments, like drumsticks. So we're going to draw a drumstick coming off of this fin. A drumstick is just a long stick, slightly tapered, meaning it's thicker at one end, than it is at the other, and it's going to have a little circular section at the end. And then there's going to be one fin coming off this way. And then this drumstick is going to come down this way. Let's do his big shark fin, which is going to go off this way. All right, so there's one shark fin, and then there's a smaller fin here. All right. Now, let's work on his face. Now, we talked about in the slide presentation how his voice was based off of one of the Three Stooges, Curly. And I think he actually kind of looks a little bit like him, too. If you've ever seen the Three Stooges, Jabberjaw kind of looks like Curly. So this line right here, this is where his eyes are going to be. We're going to draw this line going off onto the snoot, which is acting as his nose and his top lip. So it's going to go off, then down, and then it's going to come around this way, and then angle up real quick into a smile line. Okay. Let's do his mouth. He's going to have, of course, because he's a shark, he has a giant mouth. It's going to come down this way. mouth is open. This is this will be his top lip. This will be his bottom lip. And it's going to come down and create a bit of a lower lip and chin. And then we're going to connect these two parts with a curved line. Actually, a double curved line because that section is going to be white. Let me just clean that up a little bit so it's easier to see. That's going to stay white. Let's put in some shark teeth. Not too many, because he's meant to be a comedic character, not a scary character. So there's some top teeth, and there's some bottom teeth. And he's got one hanging out right over here. He's got a big red tongue here. 
right? This is all going to be shaded in later on, so if you want to, you can just put a little pencil mark in there. Everything else will be uh, either white or red. Let's put in two nostrils here and here. And now what's interesting about his eyes, we're going to put an extra little line right here. This sort of accentuates that he likes to smile a lot. So we're going to put that line in there, sort of like an extra smile line. His eyes are fused, meaning they're not two different shapes for the eyes. They are actually connected. So one eye is going to be here, and then it starts the second eye right there, almost like a peanut shape or a number eight without the cross in the center. And then just put in his pupils here and here an extra little line right there and of course his eyebrows here and here all right let's work a little bit on the drums And, oh, we're not going to do too much to the drums. We're just going to add on a little decoration to the top. Sort of like a bunch of triangles going back and forth. And maybe oh, just a little line here down at the bottom. Vertical lines. You decorate your drum however you want to decorate the drum. Okay, we are ready to begin inking. And I think um, because he is a relatively big character, there's lots of thick lines on here, so I think a regular fine point would be good. So let's start with the eyes. And go right into that snoot. Of course, his nostrils. And if you'll notice, when I ink the eyes, I leave a little bit of white just in the centers. Gives it a little bit of a gleam. Let's do the eyebrow section. Gonna do individual teeth, the tongue. And now I'm going to ink all of the place where we shaded before. Gonna ink that in all black. Before we do this long line here, let's get this fin done because the fin's going to be cutting off that line. So we don't want to accidentally ink all the way down when the fin is going to be in front of that line. So after we're done inking, we're probably going to erase this line. So let's put in the drumstick. Then 
the fin holding the drumstick. Okay, and now we can do this line. Skipping that and going the rest of the way down. Right, let's do this side. Drumstick. Fin holding the drumstick. And completed that fin. All right, we can do this side now. An uninterrupted line all the way down to the drum set and we'll stop there. And then we'll do this fin. And this fin. And then skip the drums. We'll go back to it. And then we can do the tail here. So now let's work on the drums. Now the on the drum set, the drum that's coming closest to you, that's the one that you want to do first. And that would be this drum here because this little snare drum is in front of the bass drum. And then this little snare drum is behind it. So we want to do this one first, get it out of the way. And again, don't worry about your drums being perfect. We're not drawing drums, we're drawing Jabberjaw. So focus your attention on the character. Okay, now we'll do the big circle and then follow that up with a second line around so that has sort of like a circle with a border around it. So while we're at it, let's just write in the Neptunes. This time we're not going to ink in that line, that, that arched line that we wrote the letters on. We were just using that as a guide. So right now we just have to ink in the actual letters. So Neptunes. All right, and then we'll erase the pencil line after. Let's put in the trident. And then the little symbol. I think at this point we are ready to erase the original pencil lines. really good. You could leave it like this. If you don't want to put in color, you don't have to. It actually looks really good in black and white. But since I have the colors out, I might as well color it in. Uh, we're going to use blue for the outer part. So it's going to be his back, his fins, his tail, and his uh, the big fin over here. Everything else is going to stay white. So take a little bit of time, add your blue.
Okay, remember to get this fin over here. And the whole tail is going to be blue. That's all the blue. We're going to need some red for, of course, his tongue. This portion of the drum is going to be red, as is the other snare drum. Everything else we're going to make yellow. So the symbol, the tops and bottoms of the snare drum, and the border around the bass drum. Just to make it look To make it look a little bit more golden, let's just give it some highlights, orange highlights on the symbol. A couple of highlights on the drum. And let's make the drumsticks orange. Well, that was fun to draw. This is Jabberjaw. <laughs>